Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Will the left save Donald Trump? By Charlie Sykes. President Trump has been singularly unfortunate in his friends, think Steve Bannon, but exceptionally lucky in his enemies, both within the GOP and now on the left. Even as his poll numbers sink and gaffes multiply, it is more likely that he will be saved by his foes rather than his friends. Democrats are convincing themselves that the best strategy to win back power is to embrace full-on, hair-on-fire oppositionalism from the start. They may not actually have much of a choice, since their base demands nothing less, with a dose of daily vitriol and hysteria thrown in. In just the first three weeks of the Trump presidency, senators have boycotted hearings, staged all-night filibusters, and turned the volume to maximum fighting Trump's cabinet picks. Around the country, there have been massive, mostly peaceful, demonstrations, but ominously, the Berkeley campus burned as masked thugs successfully sought to shut down a speech. Some GOP representatives are beginning to express concerns over their safety as protesters throng town hall meetings to protest the repeal of Obamacare. More is to come, as progressive groups report nearly unprecedented levels of engagement and activism. The question is just how to channel the anger. So, what could possibly go wrong? Think Wisconsin. I had a pretty good perch to watch the implosion of left-wing activism there in the wake of Governor Scott Walker's Act 10 reforms. It ought to be, but almost certainly won't be, a cautionary tale for Trump's opposition. In Wisconsin, Democratic state senators fled to neighboring Illinois to prevent votes, hundreds of thousands of protesters descended on Madison and the level of Walker derangement syndrome continually escalated through the failed attempts to recall him from office. By then, it had become clear that things had gotten badly out of control. Early on in the fight, polls showed that voters did not support the GOP governor's anti-union measures, but the excesses of the protesters, including demonstrators dressed as zombies disrupting a ceremony to honor Special Olympians, alienated the general public and bonded Walker to his base. Anti-Walker protesters became addicted to their own self-indulgent melodramas, which could be sustained only by continually ratcheting up the level of emotional and rhetorical opposition. As time went on, Democrats found it harder to modulate the tone or to police the fringes, which inevitably became the public face of the protests. As conservatives also learned with the Tea Party, fires like this are exceedingly hard to control, especially when they are constantly fueled by hysterical fustian. And so the protesters made themselves the issue. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.